Tonight on Realtree Global Hunting, we're back in South Africa, hunting big game. The all-new Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Air Rifle from Crosman has taken Diker and Springbuck. But tonight, we're after pigs. Africa, the dark continent, is considered by many to be the home of big game hunting and an iconic destination for adventurers from across the globe. The tough terrain, the plethora of game and the challenging hunting conditions make South Africa the perfect location for any hunter wanting to test their mettle. It is here in South Africa's Eastern Cape that the Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Hunting Air Gun will take on the might of big African game. So far, the Benjamin Bulldog 357 has taken a beautiful common diker. And a striking common springbok. The hunting has been intense and the Bulldog has performed flawlessly. It's another beautiful morning on the stunning Eastern Cape, and we're out early. There's a heavy mist in the valley, and we head up across the top of the hill, waiting for it to clear. All is quiet this morning, and there doesn't seem to be any game grazing. However, this morning, we're looking for warthog. Small, squat, and perfectly matched to the colour of their surroundings, warthogs can be tricky to spot amongst a scrub so we need to be extra careful as we creep through the bush. Warthog can often be found in sounders or small groups of warthogs consisting of females and young. It only takes one spotting you before they all head for the safety of a burrow. We need to tread very carefully. Warthogs are a huge problem in South Africa and cause substantial damage to the farm and estates. Digging holes, destroying fences and eating crops. Farmers are often desperate to rid their land of warthogs and we're happy to help on this particular farm. We've been instructed to shoot on sight. There's sign of warthogs everywhere here. Warthogs aren't territorial, but do tend to occupy a home range, particularly where food and water are plentiful. Sub-adult males move in bachelor groups, but once the boars mature, they head out on their own and only join sounders when they sense an estrus female. Boars will then either roam to find a mate or stay with a sounder to defend the females. As a result, warthogs are always on the move. Gavin instructs us to stop. Just a few yards away from us, there's an old warthog feeding with some young. They haven't spotted us yet, so we keep as quiet as possible. We move very slowly and carefully. They're just the other side of the bush. The warthogs begin to feed out from behind the bushes and I get the older female in the sights of my night sight. The shot is perfect, but the sow bolts. As it does, the entire sounder begins to run. We hold our position and wait for another opportunity. A second sow makes its way out of cover. I make a quick shot, and it's good. Supremely tough, the sow makes a last ditch attempt at flight, but the bulldog has done its job well. Everything has happened very quickly this morning, but we've made two superb shots on two mature warthog. We head in to see the second sow, and it's down. So we move back to look for the first. As we scan the bush, another warthog comes down the hill towards us. As it heads out of thick cover, 
I get it in my sights. And the Bulldog delivers another perfect shot. We move in to recover the carcass and there's a good blood trail into the thick cover. Just on the other side, it's down. We take a look at our third warthog and it's another great shot from the Bulldog. So Gavin, that's a nice little female, huh? Beautiful, beautiful. So how old do you say this one is? This would be about, I would say about four or five years old. Yeah. Uh, nice little tusk. Yeah, decent tusks on it, isn't it? Yeah. Flipping. You can see the blood out the nose, so we know it's got a lung shot. Try and find the entry here, perfect. Okay. Straight through the, uh, the front shoulder, straight into the vitals. So it hasn't actually exited, oh, here we go. So we have the, uh, the bullet is lodged in the skin. There's a lot of pigs here. I don't know the... Well, here we go. Once again, the big good shot. I mean, it came running maybe well, this 70 is... yards, 80 yards. Yeah, well, this is actually the exit wing, because it was, it was kind of coming left to right. Yeah. So as you saw there, we got into a little family. We weren't quite expecting that many pigs. Me and Gavin were kind of looking forward. And it was actually Solly that was with us, a tracker, who kind of pointed immediately down to our left-hand side. And there wasn't just one, there was a little family. So uh, obviously we pushed up a couple of the smaller sows and the piglets and they, they took off. We still heard a little bit of grunting and lo and behold, this beauty stood up. Now this is an interesting shot because she knew we were there, full of adrenaline, and actually at that sort of in that sort of condition she could probably run a long way so i'd be interested to see the entry wound here exactly where she went in there we go so quartering away from me just turn around to have a quick look so you've got to stick it down behind the shoulder and remember the bullet passes in a straight line so if you want to hit the vitals and it's quartering away from you you need to aim a little bit further back or forwards depending on the angle of the animal but as we can see that is exited perfectly through the shoulder and I'd imagine at that sort of height, it's taken out the top of the heart as well, would you say? Gavin, or is it a little bit no, far back for that? Like the top of the heart out uh, Cool. Definitely taken it out. And that's some serious tusks there. How old would you say this female is? Well, this one would be a little bit older. It would be, I would say, about, about six years old. Yeah. Bit um, of fighting there as well, some damage. Some yeah. Fighting damage, but a phenomenal animal. Gavin's track has kept his eyes on the hill, and our first warthog hasn't moved. We approach cautiously but the hog is down. There's a few nerves still firing, but it's long since passed. So, there she is. Now this is uh, kind of the, the sow that we saw break <coughs> off to the left with the little piglets. Yeah. Now we got a shot at her at what, sort of 40 yards, did you 40 say? Yards, yes, yeah. 42 yards. Now, as she came across, you'll remember from the replay, she kind of stood still just for a split second and then went away, slightly uh, quartering towards me. So you've just got to put the crosshairs on the front shoulder, which is what we've got here. But this is the impressive part, Gavin. As you come round, you can see your exit wound. She's quite far back along the body. I wouldn't be surprised if internally we saw a little bit of deflection off the bone. That's a pretty, pretty busy day, pretty busy morning. Three pigs, three shots, and I oh, should say a phenomenal performance once again by the Benjamin Bulldogs so, of Gavin. Well, Thank you very much. We've got a lot of work to do in the larder now. Today has been fast and frantic. After stumbling into a group of warthog, we get three shots away in a short space of time. And soon enough, we had all three pigs down. So here's two of the pigs uh, that we took this morning. Now, one of them we've left back at the estate where we've been hunting. That's going to be used uh, to feed the staff out there. But we've still got two of the pigs, and they're kind of similar in their uh, entry and exit wounds. We're going to have a closer look at those now. Now, this is the bigger female, the one with the, the bigger tusks uh, that we shot. Now, if you remember from the, um, from the replay, that female kind of wandered away from us from the right to the left. It was quartering away, and then it kind of turned back uh, which meant they had to put the crosshairs a little bit further back in the rib cage to make sure that the path of the bullet 
went through and forward. Now the entry wound for that is here and you can see from the angle of the hole that it goes straight into the, um, the chest cavity through here. It's gone through a meaty section so it hasn't uh, deflected off a rib and then straight through the other side that would have gone through the top of the heart and then it's exited through the front shoulder here. Now clean pass throughs, this one were roughly 45 yards, 40? Yeah. Between 40 and 45 yards, very difficult when the animals move, you can't keep ranging it all the time. But outstanding performance again, very little meat damage here, although because it's gone through the meat of the front leg, there is a little bit there, but I'm sure we can work around that. But as you can see, nothing else in that, uh, in that chest cavity there, only that one shot. One shot, one pig, and fantastic performance. Now moving on to the other animal. Now this one was the female that kind of came into us and then across in front of us, walking from our right to our left. Once again, you know, around the 40 to 45 yard mark. Now this one, it had a bit of a trot on, so I had to try and pick the time just where it stopped. And I thought I'd made a bit of a mess of it because just as I squeezed off the shot, took a step forward. As it happens, it went in perfectly. Through the meat again of the front leg, straight through into the chest cavity. That's gone through a rib this time. There's always a danger of ricochet there, but it hasn't gone through. The, the momentum's carried it straight through out through the other side, that's definitely taken out the heart. And you can see it's exited just below and behind the front leg. So nice clean kills, great carcasses, plenty of meat on here that's not been wasted and another job well done by the Bulldogs. So Gavin, thank you very much indeed. So that's three shots today for the remarkable Big Boar air gun and three warthogs decommissioned from their destructive ways. The Benjamin Bulldog 357 and Nozzle Extreme bullets deliver once again. To find out more about the incredible Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Air Gun, visit crosman.com. To find out more about Realtree Camo products and to join Realtree's global family of outdoors men and women, visit realtree.com. Follow the links below for more amazing videos from Realtree Global Hunting. Be sure to subscribe to Team Wild TV for the very best hunting videos on YouTube.